Most people don't care to admit it, but believe us when we say, life is difficult. Not acknowledging this fact will make you ignorant and in time, inevitably miserable. Philosophers realized this a long time ago. In fact, philosophy was born in order to answer the fundamental questions that have haunted humankind since it left Plato's cave. And that question is, how should one live their life without disgracing themselves? There are many philosophies that sought to answer this question, but only a few managed to stand the test of time. And one of those is Stoicism. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. All right, so let's start off here. First and foremost, what is Stoicism? Stoicism is a philosophy that was founded by the ancient Greek philosopher Zeno of Citium in the 3rd century BC. Stoicism flourished for some 400 years in ancient Greece and Rome, gaining widespread support amongst all classes of society. It had one overwhelming and highly practical ambition – to teach people how to be calm and brave in the face of overwhelming anxiety and pain. The Stoics believed that the key to a good life was to live in accordance with nature and to practice the virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control. At its core, Stoicism teaches us that we can choose to respond to external events in a rational and constructive way by focusing on our actions and intentions rather than being controlled by our emotions. This means that we can learn to detach ourselves from our emotional reactions and instead make decisions that are in line with our values and principles. Now, while it may sound like a cold way of approaching life, it's actually a practical and compassionate philosophy that can help individuals navigate the ups and downs of life with more peace and clarity. Over the years, many notable figures have practiced Stoicism, including the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, who wrote the famous book Meditations, which if you're a true Aluxor, you know we tend to recommend a lot. The philosopher Epictetus, who was born a slave and later became a teacher of Stoicism. The playwright Seneca, who wrote the famous Moral Letters and many, many more. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment and treating others with kindness, compassion, and respect. It teaches that we are all interconnected and our actions have an impact on those around us, so we should strive to be a positive influence in the world. Okay, great, but how do we actually do this? Well, according to the Stoics, this can only be done by embracing the four Stoic virtues. So, as mentioned earlier, in order to practice and successfully apply Stoicism to your everyday life, you need to fully understand the four Stoic virtues. Marcus Aurelius himself wrote, if at some point in your life you should come across anything better than justice, truth, self-control, courage, it must be an extraordinary thing indeed. So let's briefly dissect them one by one, starting with wisdom. Epictetus said, The chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Where then do I look for good and evil? not to uncontrollable externals, but within myself to the choices that are my own. True wisdom lies in doing the right thing regardless of your circumstances. It's the foundational virtue of philosophy itself. In fact, the word philosophy means lover of wisdom. The Stoics have always valued wisdom. According to Zeno, we were given two ears and one mouth for a reason, to listen more than we speak. And because we have two eyes, we also have an obligation to read and observe more than we talk. It is critical today, as it was in the ancient world, to be able to distinguish between the vast amounts of information available to you and the actual wisdom required to live a good life. It is critical that we study and keep our minds open at all times. Like Epictetus said, you cannot learn that which you think you already know. That's why, in addition to being humble students, 
We need to seek out great teachers. That's why we should always read. That's why we must be careful to separate the signal from the noise. The goal is not simply to obtain information, but to wield the right kind of information. Next up, we've got courage. Seneca once famously said, Sometimes, even to live is an act of courage. Courage is the ability to face fear, danger, or adversity with confidence and determination. A Stoic is not fearless, but rather is able to face their fears and overcome them gracefully. The Stoics believed that courage was essential for living a good life, as it allowed us to overcome adversity and stay true to our values. To apply courage to your everyday life, you should take calculated risks and face your fears head on. Don't let fear hold you back from pursuing your goals and dreams. Remember, courage is not the absence of fear, but the willingness to act in spite of it. Cultivate a mindset of resilience and persistence and never, ever give up. We know you've got what it takes to succeed. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Justice. Of all the four Stoic virtues, Marcus Aurelius said justice was the most important. To him, it was the source of all other virtues. After all, how impressive is courage if it's only about self-interest? What good is wisdom if not put to use for the whole world? To understand the virtue of justice, we need to look at Cicero, who agreed with Marcus Aurelius that justice is the crowning glory of the virtues. Justice is the ability to treat others fairly, respect their rights, and to act with compassion and empathy. A Stoic believes in the inherent dignity and worth of all human beings and strives to treat others as they would like to be treated. If you want to practice justice, learn to speak out against injustice. If you see something that's wrong, whether it's a case of bullying, discrimination, or injustice of any kind, speak up and take action. By standing up for what is right, you can develop your sense of justice and make the world a better place. Remember, like Dante said, the hottest places in hell are reserved for those who, in a period of moral crisis, maintain their neutrality. Self-control Self-control is understanding that abundance comes from having what is essential. The Stoics often used self-control interchangeably with temperance. Self-control not just toward material goods, but self-control, harmony, and good discipline always, in pleasure or pain, admiration or contempt, failure or triumph. Temperance is guarded against extremes, not relying on the fleetingness of pleasure for happiness, nor allowing the fleetingness of pain to destroy it. Self-control is the ability to resist temptation, to control your emotions and desires, and to act in accordance with reason and virtue. A Stoic believes that by controlling their impulses and desires, they can live a more fulfilling and satisfying life. As Marcus Aurelius wrote, If you seek tranquility, do less. Or, more accurately, do what's essential, what the logos of a social being requires, and in the requisite way. Which brings a double satisfaction, to do less, better. Because most of what we say and do is not essential. If you can eliminate it, you'll have more time and more tranquility. Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? Okay, so how about putting all of this into practice, eh, Luxor? Well, practicing and applying any philosophy boils down to one thing, and that is discipline, my friend. Learning to think before you act or speak is key if you want to change your ways and become a true Stoic. So with that out of the way, the first step to applying Stoic wisdom to your everyday life is to cultivate a sense of mindfulness. Stoicism teaches us to focus on the present moment rather than dwelling on past regrets or future worries. By paying attention to our thoughts and emotions in the present moment, we can gain a greater awareness of our own tendencies and behaviors. 
we can start to recognize when we're being driven by our emotions rather than by reason and make conscious choices about how to respond to the world around us. Another important aspect of Stoicism is developing a sense of gratitude for what we have. Stoics believe that happiness comes not from external circumstances, but from our internal state of mind. Cultivating an attitude of gratitude will teach you to appreciate the simple pleasures of life and find contentment in the present moment. Whether it's savoring a cup of coffee in the morning or taking a walk in nature, finding joy in the small things will make you appreciate life more. Stoicism also teaches the dichotomy of control, one of the best mental crutches in the history of philosophy. While it's natural to feel frustrated or upset when things don't go your way, dwelling on your disappointments will only bring more negativity into your life. So by accepting that there are some things beyond your control, you can focus your energy on the things you can change and work toward building a better future for yourself and those around you. And finally, Stoic wisdom teaches one to be kind and compassionate toward others. By practicing empathy and understanding, you can build stronger relationships with those around you and contribute to a more harmonious and peaceful society. Whether it's lending a helping hand to a neighbor in need or simply offering a listening ear to a friend, acts of kindness and compassion can make a real difference in this world. We hope this video inspired you and made you curious enough to learn more about Stoicism. Because hey, in today's day and age, we certainly need more of it in our lives. And with that being said, we're curious. What's your favorite type of philosophy? And how are you practicing it on a daily basis? Drop your answer in the comments below, we're dying to hear your thoughts. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to return the favor by tipping us with a like and a share. As always, thanks for watching and if you'd like to learn some more, check out this video next.